Okay, so Canon apparently makes a lens, the um, 10 millimeter lens, 10 to 18, and it has a little problem where it throws off these green flares. So I'm going to talk about green flares and um, show just how I remove the flares. These uh, type of lights and all a whole bunch of different lights will throw these green flares. So this is a very mild case of it. But here they are. These are the flares that are all coming off of this light. I use the spot removal and I use heal uh, more than any. Uh, every once in a while I use clone, but uh, walls are real funny. If you really look at the colors here, this wall has this different color gradients. And if so, if you clone the color, you're going to see a big spot there. But the heal tool works really well. And uh, sometimes it'll jump over here and it jumped right on top of that flare. So that doesn't work. So we just move it to a neutral spot. Take this one. Here's three. Um, if you've got enough space, I mean, technically you could take and take all three of those out at the same time. Um, it doesn't matter if they overlap, but a lot of times I like to have it be in its own spot where it's pulling from. And then there's one here. I'll just kind of do like that. And the flares are gone. Now if you really look, and I'll get into this uh, another time, there's these normal round lens flares and there's there's a way to kind of mimic that if if you have to sometimes you know these circles you could take and just create your own but uh, that'll be a kind of a description for another time so here's another set in the same room take this tool here and even though that works you'll a lot of times you'll catch me moving that just out of the way. And every once in a while it'll still leave a little bit of a, a haze, which I see a little bit of one here. And if there ever is one, you can go back over the spot and it will um, it'll take it out. There's a slight haze there, but you know, before and after is a big difference. So that's taking the green flares out of that room. So here's another small set of flares off of a ceiling fan. Really easy to remove these when they're just on the wall. It's when they start landing on the corners and edges that we have a problem. I tell you what, this picture has got a, uh, a ghost here, which is not good. So my goal, yeah, it looks like the maybe the tripod moved just slightly. Anyway, the flare, you know, I was able to remove that. Pretty, pretty simple. So here we've got the same room, and these flares are in a different spot. When you start getting around the molding, it starts to get tricky, and <clears throat> one of the reasons for that is it leaves somehow with Lightroom. It, it I don't know how to describe it. It knows the edge of something, and it will start to make it dark. It's just really odd. But 
if you just make sure that you're off of it, you know, wherever it's choosing, make sure it's nowhere near this edge. See, it starts getting dark. But we still have some green right down in here. You know, I mean, this circle goes down pretty far, but it still leaves that little spot. What I'll do... So, there's two ways to handle that, or there's really the best way to handle it, but one of the things you could try to do is actually do the molding and come up and take care of the whole flare like that and every once in a while that will work but in the long run it's really not the best way to go about it only because usually with a uh, crown molding you won't have all this free space it'll be the corner of a room or something like that in this case it worked a lot of times what I do is I separate the action and I will do one click on the molding and get it right and then that separates it and then I'll take and I'll clear up the rest of the flare like that and it's just a more efficient way it's a better habit to be in Let's see if I can get that dark spot to go away a little bit yeah a little bit here and here but I don't think it's super noticeable I mean in my opinion that doesn't look great but it looks a whole lot better than these than these flares so could I spend more time in here and work on this yeah I really could so and one of the trickiest parts is it will not let you lay a spot removal on top of this but you can drag your weight into another spot removal something like this so that's good and then right here you can see There we go. Now that looks better. And then we've got a little spot there. It's the outside edge inside of that spot removal. So I just go over top of it. And that looks a lot better. Because again, everybody's eye isn't going to be looking directly into this corner going oh my gosh those shadows aren't acting right but if there were three green splotches on the ceiling people are going to notice that and uh, not everybody knows what a lens flare is so they're thinking you know there's some kind of stain on the ceiling or something like that but uh that is how i would handle that one so anytime you see lights which is just about every room, but especially these lights, these uh, recessed lights, you're gonna find a flare. Sometimes you don't. A lot of times they'll come off of the light, like it's a very small flare there. I wouldn't even mess with that, but they'll float. And so there is the flare for that particular light. And you wanna keep your eye out. You're like always looking for these and then just take it out. Um, this one, I think that's the flare. No, sometimes they're not there. Um, sometimes they'll be in a random spot. Uh, oddly enough, sometimes they'll be right here. And you'll see it'll be like almost a larger green smudge. But I wanted to, to show that, that this was the only real flare that stood out. And we definitely want to get that off the wall. So same room. Looks like it's the same light. Um, I haven't started adjusting the color of the room but it's landing right on this molding here and luckily it's an easy fix unfortunately it rarely will line up but a lot of times it'll be about like that so you almost always have to take it and line it up when it comes to the molding 
And that's that. So, you know, this is really basic. I'm sure you get the point, but I want to show as many of these as I can. There's another one, and then it's gone. You know, something like this. I would probably work this off. Oh, and I don't know what that is. It's a weird spot on the wall. I'd also kind of take that out. Let's take that Just cleaned that up a little bit so there's another one landing right in the corner And then these large windows will throw out this blue flare. In this case, it's right up against here. I'm not super worried about that on this one. There are times that I try to minimize that or I try to change that blue to um, just a, a lighter color. You like wash it out and we'll see if I can pull that off here really not that important on this one okay so that's an example sometimes I'll take and then start adjusting you know if you add oops if you um, do the adjustment brush over here and you trace over it and add some yellow sometimes it'll turn it kind of white anyway in that case it didn't remove it but it took the blue out so I keep my eye out there will be some really funky stuff that comes off of these windows sometimes so you'll get these these long flares like this and this one's kind of on the edge of whether I would mess with it or not, but I, I'm definitely gonna gonna take this out. And um, again, once I start getting close to that molding, I just like to do two separate um, adjustments here, especially since I'm entering into this shadow and the angle of the shadow uh, can be a little bit different depending on where I place this piece and whether it heals it correctly or not and in this case we've got all this space up here so this first one it just went in but a lot of times you don't have all this space and so it's just again a great habit to separate those and then we've got technically we've got one right here a real long one it's very faint luckily in this house we've got just real faint lights or excuse me flares and so I would take that just remove it and my eye I'm checking these cupboards here's one right there check the cupboards and stuff like that the walls 
you know, would that one have been the end of the world? Probably not. But uh, every once in a while, you'll get one in a spot where you're like, oh, like that doesn't make sense. Now, this is one that is a little odd, but you see how tight this space is. Don't have a lot of room for this second dot to come up to heal that correctly. And so I believe that that's an improvement. And then I have another one over here. You know, that's still noticeable, but there's some cases where you you know you don't want to sit here and work on a single mini flare for a super long time. Uh, could you get in there and try to color that out? Probably, but in the grand scheme of what's going on here, I don't think it's uh, all that big of a deal. So here's some different flair for you. Got this going on right here. Again, easy fix in this case. But we've also got this blue fringing that's going on. And some of these other just round flares. Every once in a while you'll have a situation where if I bring this shadow down it kind of minimizes that. And it doesn't totally kill the room. So I may do a combination of bringing that shadow down. And on the darks, a lot of times you can come in, and it doesn't always work, it may not work here, but you can kind of come in and use the adjustment tool. And whenever I use this, some people call it the adjustment brush, I always make sure it's um, either a lot higher or a lot lower so I can see where I color and then I adjust it but if I knock this down just a smidge and then I desaturate it just a smidge I've at least improved that to where it's not blue you can still tell there's something there and I would just for the sake of someone's eye they can see that this is coming off of this window. I'm not eliminating these. Kind of tough to tell. This room was so dark to start with. But um, those blue blue fringing off of these windows is a real drag and they're and it's tough to to get rid of. Where this little dots coming from. I don't know if it was something that was on my lens or what. That's like the third photo I've seen it in. Anyhow, you're going to get this going on. Um, I've even gone as far as taking... You can brighten your yellows up. Sometimes it'll affect this. Believe it or not, it'll affect the blue right there because it's actually coming from the sun. But... However you want to solve that, it's it's a challenge. I just try to minimize it down or change it um, to a whiter color. Uh, so I could take and maybe increase the highlights and just turn it white. You know, we don't want to do anything like that. So... It's always a challenge to deal with that. So we've got these bathroom lights and bathrooms in general always are posing some kind of problem. However, these flares are pretty nasty. 
You can just kind of take them one by one. And you can see there's already a kind of a round flare right there. If it, a lot of times the um, adjustment spot will shoot way out of view. So what I do is I hold down the space bar and I can go down and drag it. And I can bring it up to where it needs to be. <clears throat> In that case, it, it worked, but sometimes it'll jump way over here and it'll throw some funky image up there. But, you know, like that, but it, it doesn't need to be moved because the spot looks okay. And then we've got this. So there's the flare and there's some light spill around it. Um, luckily it healed it up pretty well. Sometimes you'll see, even though it's healing it, you'll see this outline if there's also some additional light spill. And then there's these natural flares. I mean, I guess they're all natural, but, um, you know, ones that people are more used to seeing are the round flares. Let's see if I can do it with one click. Yeah. So I can minimize that. So that looks a lot better. And, you, and again, people are used to seeing some of this type of stuff, like this right here, and coming off these lights. But uh, that's a huge improvement from where we were. It's not distracting. care of these yeah so we've got some specs taking place there from the mirror some dirt on the mirror go grab that and bring it to a better spot got this one which again I'll divide this out oh, it drives me nuts when it does that oh my phone's ringing line this up and I still have a little bit of a haze right here so again I can't start pushing I can't click my button where I want to so you start just outside of it and then trace into that area and it's gonna let you improve it that way still just a touch but again I'm not nearly as concerned with it. There's actually a little bit of some green going here because it looks way better than that. 